Hey, what is up guys, it's Swiss and we're back at it again with a new video. It's gonna be in regards of a new snake tutorial. I like to call it Nate stalling or maybe a Nate stalling recovery as we'll go into looking at a few clips from Dio then we'll go into training mode and dive into how to train it and how it works and stuff like that. So I slowed this clip down a little bit. We got a few clips we're gonna run through real quick just to let you guys know on how it works and some rules and for my opinion on how to do it, how to use it or when to use it. So he gets hit off stage and then he grenades. You want to light throw it up and then he up bees right into it to blow himself up. Now this is going to be really good for percents if you're not going to be able to live if you see for yourself. So I would say around 130 is normally the, the percentage of when you see for yourself, you're going to end up losing your own stock or killing yourself if even if you're at the very bottom of the stage normally so a grenade is going to be the best thing for you so he blows himself up now he could up B again but he decides to do it again which i probably wouldn't recommend because he loses the stock so even though it's an advanced technique you don't really want to always rely on it or keep doing it right because it could leave you to being open you can get easily read if you keep doing it because there's obviously as you can see there's a lot of startup to actually land this now, with the Palutena video that we have here, he gets hit off stage, he jumps, grabs a grenade, light throws, up Bs, picks it up with an aerial, which I would recommend because I think picking up with an aerial is a lot easier than air dodge or directional air dodge. Also, if they come up to you, you got an aerial as a defense maneuver. So he picks it up and he fast falled right into this up smash that was kind of Kind of his bad on that one so you kind of again want to look out for where you're at on the screen too again i recommend it down here i personally think he could have just up and been been safe but um the next video is going to be this one now i want to point out here that he gets hit off stage right here and this is a good area in my opinion to do it this, like this this or lower like let's say you do like bad di it's gonna be a good good area to do it or you know just a weird launch angle from a certain move so he could have done it here but um he throws a grenade he up bees and then he loses the stock for it so he could have done it there or he could have just went for ledge nonetheless but that would have been a good instance to actually use that technique um this specific clip i want to have you guys see this for yourselves so he picks up the grenade and he gets launched while holding the grenade. And I just wanna show this to you guys because if you don't wanna go through having to light throw a grenade and then up B into it or something like that, if you get launched while holding a grenade, you could just not throw it, get launched up here and then be able to up B. 114 is a really low percent to die from grenade at this at this specific part of the, of the screen. So he could have just got hit by the grenade and then up B more, I mean up B again. So I just want to point that out. You don't have to worry about having to do the light throw grenade or anything like that. And then the last one here. So he gets launched. He uses an aerial to pick it up. Does it? Tries to do it again, but he gets punished. Again, a reason why I say don't do it all the time. Does it again. Up bees. Now you also want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on your percent. 197 is pretty high and he does it again. I don't know why he did it, but he ended up losing a stock. So you wanna be careful about that. Also, another thing I wanna mention, one last thing before we go into, the, into training mode here. This is a really good example of a way you could play around with this, not only for recovery, but possibly a good defense maneuver. So he, th he throws it up, he up bees, grabs it with the directional air dodge, grabs ledge, and the grenade blows up. So that could be really, really good for defensive type. So you can get to the ledge safe, the grenade is there, so they, so your opponent may respect it, so you can get to lay ledge a lot safer. And so that might be really good for you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into training mode. We'll go over how to do it, best ways to do it, and so on and so forth. All right, so now we're in the training mode section of the of the video. So again, obviously training mode is gonna be the best mode to really work this out. I 
set snake to 85%. I have the opponent or the, the CPU set to side smash or forward smash, whatever you want to call it. You could also do it without that, without forward smash. You could just try to do it yourself, such as this. But if you want to practice like DIing bad, just in case like you you don't DI correctly or something, you could try that. Which is why side smash is obviously going to be the best the best move to put it on because it's going to have the most amount of knockback. So if I DI down and then try to pick it up with an aerial, then that's when you're really going to learn how to actually do this. That's pretty much it. So the way you want to do this is you get launched, right? You pull out the grenade, you light throw it up, you up B into it, and then you pick it up with any aerial. Now you could do it with the directional air dodge, like I said, aerial feels like there's a lot more range as far as picking it up in my opinion. Also, if you air dodge right as it's gonna blow up and it blows up as you're air dodging, then you're not gonna get hit by it. So you're pretty much gonna be uh, left in a bad situation there. So you just pick it up with an aerial. Now you can do this forever if you wanted to, you can just keep doing it as much as you, you would like. Obviously, in my opinion, one time is fine enough, so... That's what I recommend. And then just, you know, do what you normally do as you get down to the stage. And that's, that's primarily the best way to actually practice this. Now, there is another way to use this technique, and it is, it's gonna be up to you if you think it's useful or not. I personally don't think it's useful, but what it consists of is pulling out a grenade, and then Nikita, and then Nikita just goes straight. Or wherever you, whatever direction you put it in. So if you angle it up and you get hit by the grenade, the Nikita just follows, you know, just continues on that path. It just goes straight, doesn't cancel or anything like that until it runs out of gas, obviously as we should know at this point for using Snake. Or if you're new to Snake, then if you're using a Nikita and you get hit, and you get hit, it just continues to go, it just continues to go on it, on the path that you last put it in for direction. So it just keeps going, it just keeps on going until it can't, until it runs out of gas, it cancels itself, then it drops down on its own. So that's one thing you could use as far as getting knocked off stage. So again, what you're doing is you're, you're gonna throw the grenade up. So once you get hit by the side smash, throw it up, Nikita, and then that's pretty much it. Obviously it takes good, a good amount of timing to, to do it. And then you Nikita, and then it just goes on its path. So, Again, now the timing can be pretty hard and there are quite an amount of other ways to do it. Like you could just throw it, wait a little bit and then try to be yourself into it without having to use an aerial, but that's also gonna take time to learn the timing of your grenades and so on and so forth. And one more thing I wanna say before we go is just the couple of rules again of when you wanna use this. Again, I don't recommend it when you're up in this angle. If you get launched up here, I don't really recommend it. If you bad DI or you get launched like over here, like this area or even lower, then I would recommend doing doing that advanced technique as far as uh, the maid stall will go. So that's pretty much it. If you guys like the content, please feel free to subscribe and as well as visit my other social media platforms, primarily Twitch and Twitter I do have as well. If you guys like to keep in contact with me, there you can. Feel free to send me clips as well. Definitely down to watch some clips of you guys performing this technique or any other clips in general that you may have. I definitely look forward to it. Thank you guys again so much and have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video. guys who watch my streams on Twitch or have watched my Twitch highlights videos and have seen my effects and so on and so forth that is through nerdordie.com again nerdordie.com I do have a link 
in the description down below. Make sure you use that link if you want to check anything out. They have really good effects. I highly recommend it. High quality stuff. Feel free to check them out. And if you want to, you know, make your stream pop a little bit more or have a little more variety or anything like that, feel free to, again, use that link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Think you brush it off you It's significant But you got something we want And your whole life is a taunt Cause you will not just comply Waking up for your day job Know you hate that 9 to 5 Got a better kid I won't Hate it but in the night do uh, I pass the future too Progress Relieve it has some Race for the shadows To the race one Thinking we all gonna arise